What do we got on the end of the line here? Looks like an Atlantic salmon, seven and a half pounder. Not bad. Yeah, I'll show you guys so you can catch these Atlantic salmon out here on White Moose Lake in Alberta, Canada and Fishing Planet. <laughs> Greetings and salutations everyone, Jake Degas here with Jake Degas Digital and today we are going to do some fishing out on White Moose Lake in Alberta, Canada. Today we're going for the Atlantic Salmon, that's right, we're going for those redfish and we're going to try to catch as many of them as we can and maybe even land ourselves a trophy or two. These Atlantic Salmon um, generally get between anywhere between 7 all the way up to I think uh, the low 20s as far as poundage and weight size and yeah so they can they they vary in size there's no uniques here but they do get up to uh do get up to trophy size and we're going to try to catch uh as like i said as many of them as we can and maybe even a trophy or two so let's get right into the setup that we have i've got the bass caster 7 foot 10 inch uh casting rod with the counselor 3500p reel on it got it loaded up with 12 pound test. Now, the majority of the Atlantic salmon that I catch out here are anywhere between uh, 6 to 10, 11 pounds. So, uh, 12 pound test should be fine when you're fishing for the regular ones. The trophies do get quite a bit larger. So, keep that in mind if you want to use 12 pound test. Might be a little bit of a fight if you uh, hook into a trophy size. And we've got what is this here? I believe this is the rainbow. Let me go to my cranks. I just want to make sure I got the right, right color for you guys. Yeah, it is the 12 foot rainbow colored uh, crankbait with a two odd hook on it. And we're going to use that mainly uh, to catch these Atlantic salmon. You can also float fish for these guys. And I've got my Fenix 14 foot 10 inch rod along with the Fat Boy Spin 4000 reel on it. Got it. This one loaded up with 20 pound braided line. And uh, you can use artificial or natural salmon eggs. I think I got a four-aught hook on there. I'm going to switch between a four-aught and a, a six-aught hook in the Chubby Bobber. And we've got the leader set to anywhere between 45 and 55 inches out there for these Atlantic salmon. Now, of course, just in case I'm cranking and I, I want to go for the trophy specifically and don't want to uh, fight, a, fight a fish for over an hour, uh, with that 12 pound line on the bass caster, I got my River Tech Salmon Monster, 8 foot 10 inch with the Redfish 5500 reel. Got this one loaded up with 30 pound braided line. Uh, just in case I'm going to throw that rainbow color crankbait on here and try to fish for those trophies. So, with all that said, guys, let's get out here on White Moose Lake in Alberta, Canada. See if we can't catch ourselves some nice size Atlantic salmon. So we are spawning in at the one and only spawn point available on White Moose Lake in Alberta, Canada. And I'm off here to the left and I'm casting right out. There's two tree lines. If you notice out there, there's one that's up close and there's the trees that are kind of farther back. I cast, uh, I cast out towards the end of the first tree line. And look at that. We got a fish on already, guys, with this crankbait, rainbow colored crankbait. Off of the uh, off of the 12 footer with a two odd. Look at that thing pulling, man! Nice. This is most likely in Atlantic salmon, guys. I've been catching them like crazy over in this area. I'm out here fishing right now with a subscriber who goes by the name of Hogger. Want to give a shout out to you, Hogger? He uh, he kind of pointed this spot out to me the other day. And I'm gonna try, uh, gonna go ahead and try to see if we can't nail some, some Atlantic salmon over here. Obviously, we got a fish on the line right now. We will see what this thing is when we get it in, but I'm betting it is an Atlantic salmon. You can see it's got a beautiful, this lake is, this lake is a real nice lake out here. Got that Christmas feel right around this Christmas season. Feels ice cold and chilly, just like it should this time of year. And we are catching ourselves some salmon out here. Hopefully, we'll get quite a few of them. 
I haven't seen too many other uh, fish other than burbot, I think, will occasionally hit a crankbait out here. Uh, the brook trout will cre uh, hit a crankbait occasionally out in this area, not very often, but the majority of the fish you'll catch with a cranker casting out in the direction that I just did are Atlantic salmon. Yep, I can tell. I can tell by the way it's jumping out there in the water. This is definitely an Atlantic salmon. Let's get this guy up here. See what we have on the line. What do we got? It is a seven pound Atlantic salmon. Good for $493, I believe that said. Look at that thing. Not the biggest one, but we'll go ahead and keep him and put him in the keep net. Yeah, look at that. Nice fish, nice fish. We'll put him in the keep net and see if we can't get any more. So like I was saying, I'm right here. I'm gonna move up actually. And you'll see the far distance out there. There is the main tree or the tree line behind. See that in that general area out there. And then the tree line that is up front is right to the right of my marker. It's the trees are a bit greener. I cast right out in that general direction and uh, usually get some Atlantic salmon on a fairly consistent basis. So many of you who are subscribers may notice that I haven't been releasing videos as often as usual. Guys, I'm a little tied up with some personal uh, things going on, so I can't make the videos quite as often. We got another one on, guys. Look at this. Another fish on. <laughs> Fantastic. I uh, can't make videos as often as I was. Hopefully, I'll still be able to make them somewhat on a regular basis for you all. This fish has got some nice fight to it, too. Oh, man. I hope to have this video out by the Christmas season for you guys. And if that's the case, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's see what this fish is. Oh, still got a ways to bring him in yet, though he's only about 48, 50 feet out there. I feel pretty confident we'll be able to get him up on this dock, though. He is almost in here. Got him down to 33, 30. There we go. 30 feet. Almost got this fish. I think this is another Atlantic salmon, guys. Doesn't feel like a burbot, thank God. Burbots are kind of annoying. But uh, we got an Atlantic salmon here, I can guarantee it. Yep, there it is. That is another 7-pounder. Good for another 490-some-odd dollars. Look at that thing. We'll go ahead and put it in the keep net. little bit later in the day here and we are still on the same point that we are still casting in the same area for Atlantic salmon uh, I've had a few unsuccessful casts up to this point but it's all right I know they're out there I catch them quite frequently over here so there's no doubt in my mind that persistence will pay off and we'll get ourselves some more of the salmon that are out there just going to reel this crank in at a steady retrieve of one, one speed on the reel. I'm not doing anything fancy, just a nice steady retrieve with it. And generally those salmon will just come out of nowhere and hit these crankbaits. So keep that in mind. There we go. Look at that. Another one on the line. I don't think this is a burbot either. This one feels, well, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. This one feels rather large compared to the other ones that I've been catching out here. Let's see. Keep that line tension up on that thing. Is pulling and pull. Wow, pulling. Got my got my line set, guys. Don't worry. I know the line looks like it's in the red zone, but it's just enough, just set enough to where I know it won't break. But we are pushing the limits. That's for sure. This fish took that down to 73 feet this is a deep lake guys white moose lake in alberta canada real deep lake we got here so keep that in mind this thing is fighting like crazy we are slowly but surely getting it up here to the dock let's see here i see it. nope that is an atlantic salmon i can tell it's silver yep not a burbot and it definitely does not fight like a burbot either Come on, you bad boy. You know you want to get up here in the dock. Say hello to the good people at home. Oh, 
almost got him up here. Come on. Thing's got a lot of fight to it. Get up here on this stock. What do we got? Come on, you're almost here. There we go. You are a 10-pound Atlantic salmon. Not bad. They do get bigger, though, guys. These are still relatively small Atlantic salmon. The trophies in here get rather large. I think they get up to about 20 pounds, maybe a little bit more. But this is good for now. We'll go ahead and take this Atlantic salmon, and we'll go ahead and we'll put it in the keep net. Yep, look at that down there. Hogger saying almost a trophy. He's absolutely right. Now here we are later in the day and we're going to go ahead and try to switch it up to float fishing for these Atlantic salmon. Got myself some natural eggs and I believe we are on a 4 odd hook and we've got the X series. Uh, it doesn't matter. You could use whatever 4 odd hook will work. Trying out the 4 odd hook first. We might catch some little guys. Not necessarily a trophy. Would like to get a trophy for this video but can't always guarantee that that'll happen. But I'm just going to let these uh, these salmon eggs sit out there. I've got the leader set to about anywhere between 45 to 50 inch, 55 inches. I've caught the Atlantic salmon out here at those depths. So we'll just let that sit out there for a little bit. And look at that. We got a ding already. Something is out there messing with the salmon eggs. We'll see if this fish out there takes it under. It's playing with it. Can't quite decide. It did make a decision. Look at that. We hooked ourselves into another fish here. Now, I think the lake trout may hit the salmon eggs as well. So keep that in mind that it's not necessarily going to be an Atlantic salmon. I've had the brook trout hit the eggs, but I don't think there's many brook trout out in that area that we just cast it to. Got 20 pound line on this Phoenix, Fenix, whatever you want to call it rod. So this fish is coming in nice and easy. It looks like not much, not much fight to it on this rig set up here. Let's see what we have here. It is another 10 pound Atlantic salmon. Caught a 10 pounder a little bit earlier in the day. We got another one here off of the natural salmon eggs, guys. Not bad, we'll go ahead and put it in the keep net. And I'm gonna go ahead and cast right back out there, see if we can't land ourselves another one. Right out by that tree line out there. Casting out, got it set to about 120 feet. I haven't really paid much attention to how far out I've cast it. I just kind of cast as far as this rod will let me. And I've had generally good luck. Might have to wait a while here and there in order to catch uh, a salmon with the uh, with the natural eggs on the float fishing reel. Or float fishing setup, I should say. Guys, also to the left of where I'm casting, between the uh, the rock wall to the left of me and where my bobber's at in that area there, if you guys cast one and a half ounce to two ounce medium spoons, oh, we got a fish ding in our bell here. If you cast one and a half ounce to two ounce medium spoons out in that area, reel them in either the lemon tiger or the red tiger. You guys will have some pretty good luck pulling in big lake trout. They get up to unique size in here. I don't think I'm going to do a video on the lake trout because uh, they seem to be the easiest fish actually to catch on this lake. But that's something to keep in mind. If you want to catch the lake trout, they are in this area as well. Off to the left between where I'm at now and that rock wall. That fish that was hitting did not take our bait under. That's right. We'll have to let it sit out here a little bit longer. And uh, hopefully it or another one will come back and attack. And so far it doesn't look like it's coming back and attacking. <laughs> Oh, what? Spoke too soon. We got something dinging it now. Let's see if it takes it under. Reel my slack up there a little bit. Come on, don't hit it and quit it. Take the bait. There we go. Yep, got another fish on here, guys. This one's got a little bit of fight to it. On this uh, heavier setup, this is this is heavier than the bass caster that I was using. 
as far as line wise goes, line weight goes. Like I said, we got 20 pound line on here. The bass caster I was using only had 12 pound. This fish has got some fight to it out there. Not coming in as easily as the previous Atlantic salmon that we just caught. This might be a lake trout on here, it's possible. I do think the lake trout will hit the uh, salmon eggs as well. Can't verify that for certain though. Can't remember if I caught lake trout after this. I fished, uh, fished so many different types of baits and lures on this lake, I can't remember what hits what all the time. But let's see, what. nope, this is Atlantic salmon. And this one here is a seven pounder, wow. Felt like it had a lot more fight than that 10 pounder we just caught, but apparently it didn't. We'll put it in the keep net though. I left and came back to Alberta, went and took part in a competition, decided to come back here. I'm going for trophies now, guys, and so I decided to uh, equip my salmon monster rod here just in case we hook into a trophy. Still using the same crankbait that I was using the other day when I was out here. It is the uh, rainbow color, two odd size hook. And I'm just going to go ahead and reel it in steady retrieve, just like we were with the bats caster a couple days ago. Doing it again, but this time we got the salmon monster with a 30 pound line, just in case we hook into a big trophy. I'm hell bent <laughs> on getting a trophy. I just, I got to get a trophy for these videos. And it makes it a challenge to try to get, you know, set goals for yourself in the game. Makes it a little bit more fun. Anyway, got the same rainbow crankbait out there. Nice steady retrieve, one speed. Maybe we can hook into a trophy. Let's see, so far, no hits on the crankbait on this cat. Oh, look at that. We got one on here. This one feels like a nice size one. Can't really tell yet until we get it up here. I haven't really fished with the salmon monster. Nah, this one's a little guy. Look at that little six pounder. That's right, we'll put him in the keep net. Gonna go ahead and cast back out in that general area. See, there's the tree line right over there, just to the left of that uh, last tree in the tree line that's up front. Gonna cast back out there. Maybe, maybe we'll get ourselves a trophy here eventually. It sure would be nice to have one. And a nice steady retrieve. Beautiful day out here in Alberta, Canada. Sun is blazing out there. As blazing as it can be in this nice northern Canadian region. Got a real good holiday feel to this lake. Really enjoy it. Look at that. We got a fish on. Holy cow, this one. Oh yeah, this one feels like it's got fight to it. This is a nice sized fish. I can tell that right off the bat. A lot more fight than that one we just caught. Still, it comes in with ease, it seems like, with this salmon monster rod and this 30 pound line and this uh, red fish reel. Let's see. Come on, buddy. Let's go ahead and get you up here. Splashing out there like crazy. What are you, sir? You are Boom Basta. There we go. Finally, new personal record for me on the Atlantic Salmon. Almost a 14 pounder here, guys. Look at that beauty. That is a big old salmon. Gonna make some good salmon steaks with this guy tonight. Woo, buddy. All right. Well, there we go. We caught ourselves a trophy Atlantic Salmon. I'll go ahead, take some snapshots of this bad boy. Look at you, smile for the camera. <laughs> and the guy next to me has got to show me up by catching a unique lake trout. Oh, well, that's all right. Not too bad, though. Guys, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas to everybody. Hopefully this video will be about in time for Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to everybody, guys. You know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. If you want to stay up to date on beach content, haven't done so already, please subscribe. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world, and we will see you next time.